Night Raiders, North Korea, hurricanes, tsunami, and an earthquake in Mexico managed to lower the S&P 500 last week only by 0.3%. Given the news, a very slight decline, which indicates the power of the buyers. On the other hand, the bears. A lot of bears believe that the stock market is on the verge of correction. They present some logical arguments, such as the recent natural disasters, an expensive stock market that didn't pull back for the last 18 months, and the usually negative month of September. Now, is it possible that because most investors believe that the market should pull back, the market, in fact, will continue higher? Well, usually I do have my own beliefs, but right now when I take a look at the market, it's very, very, very hard to understand where the market is heading. Let's take a technical view of the market. When I take a look at the S&P 500, I can see that the market is consolidating near the highs. And it is, in fact, holding for quite a long time near the recent highs. And as we say, the longer the base, the higher into space. So it is true right now that the technical formation of the market moving higher looks amazingly good. But again, the arguments for moving higher are not as good as the arguments of moving lower. But I can't argue with the way the market looks technically. So if the market will move off the recent highs, that's going to be a very, very interesting breakout. I do not have my opinion this week about the market direction. Sorry for that, but usually I do. But right now it's very, very hard to say where the market is heading. Let's take a look at uh, last week's picks. When I take a look at last week's picks, I can see that uh, FNSR did great. Came down by more than 12%. Plenty of room to take our first 3% partial. So FNSR did great. The last quarter size is still in the game. Hopefully we'll continue. My second pick last week was MU Long. MU Long did trigger, didn't do so good. It's down by 2%. I do remind you that I never lose more than 3%. Meaning if MU will come down by 3% from the trigger price, I'm out of, I will be out of MU. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is HFC Long, over $32.65. HFC is an oil refinery in the States. Oil prices are coming up with the help of, of course, with uh, the weather. So HFC is looking good for some more upside continuation. Nice technical formation, long in HFC. My second pick for the week is NFX Short, under $24.41. NFX, as you can see, is downtrending, downtrending for quite a while, and looks great for another breakdown. NFX is a production, is a producer of crude oil and natural gas from Houston, Texas. So again, weather-related trade. So it's a combination of a nice technical formation and the weather issues. I wish you a great trading week, and I'll see you next week. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.